What is going on everybody? I am Cody and if you are not familiar, this is my channel, Let's Talk About Sense. Today we are going to be talking about Lux and Terra. Lux and Terra is founded in 2019 by a Mr. Sam Macer. Lux and Terra is a British perfumery with the simple intentions to create an alternative line of fragrances inspired by fantasy, artwork, and landscapes. Let me go ahead and tell you, these have most certainly set a fantasy and a landscape, and I cannot wait to share with you all. So stay tuned, because up first, we are going to be talking about By Virtue of Sunbeams. This right here, and I'm just going to tell you before I start breaking these down, my biggest bet, like my biggest pet peeve of these fragrances were that Sam had only sent me these little bottles because... If I had an actual bottle that I could spray and distribute a clean, fresh burst of mist of these, I would have worn these nonstop. So difficult to put on with the little wand in here and having to rub on the skin. So the only pet peeve was that I did not have a larger bottle of these to spray and to spread and allow it to feel the air. It was so closely skin related. So on projection and stuff, I don't believe I got as much out of what I really wanted. Projection on both of these was around six to eight feet and I got about four to six hours on skin. If I would have had a full bottle to spray these on, clothes to put them, you know, to get a real good coverage of those those pulse points to generate some heat these would have been phenomenal only pet peeve of these all right that's enough of me rambling about that first we are going to get into by virtue of sunbeam like i said notes in this are mango florida grapefruit spruce sun cream or sunscreen sea breeze guava soft musks and ambergris this right here is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. Not just saying that, this is absolutely phenomenal. I have put this on a bunch. Love it. My wife loves it. My daughter loves it. This is an excellent all year round. Wear this anytime, day or night fragrance. It just hits all of the marks. You get juicy tropical mango, tart citrus grapefruit, Right off the opening, huge burst of that juicy, tropical, citrus, bright, fresh. Then you have a very fresh spruce that comes through. It's very fresh, just like a evergreen forest fresh. Salty sea breeze, little salt undertones. Feels like you're sitting on the beach. You have that gust of wind coming through. You pick up that smell, that salt in the air. All rounded by, again, a juicy, fruity musk. You're getting musk from the soft musk and the ambergris that's in it. And then that guava just rounds it out, adds more of that juiciness to it that you have off the top. I don't get much of the sunscreen unless just it's just kind of like a melding bond together. It's giving you that kind of beachy vibe. Now, here is the fantasy landscape that I got with this. It's insane. So, imagine, this is exactly what this fragrance smells like to me, and I painted the picture for my wife, and she was like, wow, she said, that's pretty crazy. That is, that is just spot on. Imagine you're stumbling through the evergreen forest, foggy, moisture-filled air, fresh greenery all around, evergreen, and you stumble upon a beach in the middle of that forest. You sit down. You have fresh fog and salty accords in the air from that beach that is just in the middle of the forest. And you look in your hand and you're holding a juicy guava and mango filled cocktail. 
That is exactly what this fragrance is. If I painted a beautiful picture for you, you need to try this because it is exactly that. It is excellent. 10 out of 10. This is a bomb fragrance. Good job, Sam. Love that one. Need a full bottle of that, man. That is so great. I will wear that all the time. All right. Now, up next is going to be the newest creation from Sam at Lux and Terra. And this one is called Vanilla Wood. And exactly like the name stakes, but do not think of your typical vanilla in this. It is not your typical soft, sweet, feminine-based vanilla. This is a very rich, very earthy, rugged, like fresh vanilla bean stripped right off. Opening notes in this one. You got cinnamon, rum, honey, then you're accompanied by oakwood, cedarwood, musks, vanilla, benzoin, and a woody bouquet. I don't know what the woody bouquet consists of, but that is what you get in this. The opening of this fragrance, I've got it all over the back of my hand here. Boozy rum right off the opening. Tinge of spice all in the background from that cinnamon. You're going to have some sweetness on the opening from that honey. Very, very, very rich oak wood. Overpowers the cedar wood. I don't pick up much cedar wood. Cedar wood always has kind of like this creamy sweetness. It's very bright to me. This is a very dark, rustic, very rum-soaked wood. Very aged, vintage wood, dry. Then you're going to have a ton of... I mean, still a ton of that woody booziness is through the ride the whole time. Then you've got a very, like I said, very rich, non-traditional, strong, pungent vanilla that comes through. And then it's all just going to be wrapped with more booziness and more woodiness from the woody bouquet. Cedarwood, oakwood, benzoin all together. Now, the picture and the landscape, the fantasy... Artwork, everything, it all comes together on this one. This right here for me, I painted another one. I loved it with these fragrances. It was so much fun to create a general image of where I imagine you would smell this the first time if you were not holding a bottle of it. And this right here, close your eyes if you will. I don't care, however you want to picture this. You are on a pirate ship. You had just stopped off of dry land. You picked some very, very, very fresh vanilla. You drop your vanilla in your rum-soaked oak barrel that barely has probably two or three cups of rum left at the bottom. You leave the vanilla to sit in that rum barrel. The next glass that you pour a couple of days later is that oak-tinged rum-soaked vanilla in a very, very large cup or shoehorn, and that is what you have as your drink. That is this. Almost has a gourmandness to it. If it wasn't for that oak wood, that vanilla and that rum, I mean, I'm telling you, you can smell it like you could eat something and it have that on it. So great. Both of these, so fantastic. I do not want anybody to sleep on this brand. I want you to go and most definitely try these out. You've got to sample these fragrances. They're fantastic. Unlike anything you're going to put your nose on, especially by virtue of sunbeams, this fragrance is one that you feel like you've smelled or that you've been longing to smell for a long time, but you've never had anything like this. It's quite phenomenal. The vanilla wood sort of reminds me of something. If you've had anything that has oak wood, of course that note's going to be very prominent or anything that has that rich, uh, strong, just kind of rugged vanilla. It's going to be some reminiscent qualities, but it's so great, so unique, perfect wear. Super, super great. Very masculine on that one, I would say. The vanilla, even the vanilla, and it's very masculine. But the By Virtue of Sunbeams, perfectly unisex. Fantastic. 10 out of 10 fragrances. Sam, thanks so much for sending these over to me, man. These are absolutely phenomenal. Like I said... I most definitely need full purchases of these, even travel size. I just need it to be able to spray. I need to spray these so badly. So 
I will most definitely be looking forward to doing that. And you guys, if you like what you've seen, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, click the bell notification, be sure you're subscribed, and stay tuned for things that we have next to come. I will leave all the information for Lux and Terra in the description below. And as always, this has been Cody with Let's Talk About Sense. Look good, smell good, feel good. You guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.